Hello friends and welcome back to another video. Before we go and start this video, I did really quickly want to talk about how we are as of right now at 51 subscribers, which I just wanted to say that's really dope. Probably 51 more than I thought I ever would get. I really want to say thank you to every single person who's been supporting and been subscribing and is enjoying the videos. Thanks everybody for kind of being here and sticking around. It's it's really cool. So Thanks guys. So I, again, have been spending a lot of my time playing Animal Crossing like the rest of the world, which has been great. But as of right now, I wanted to take a break from that because right now it's this weird like bunny day and it's honestly traumatizing to me because not only is the bunny that shows up into your area creepy as shit, so it reminds me of Robbie the bunny, I believe that was his name, from the Silent Hill 3 and 4 game. What makes it even more frustrating is there's just eggs everywhere. You go to cut down a tree for resources, there's eggs. You go to fish for a fish, there's freaking eggs. They're even falling from the sky. I, like probably everybody else in this game, have a debt of over a million bells to Tom Nook right now. And listen, this man means business. I do not want to have my kneecaps busted in or be tossed into a river with cement shoes, okay? He's scary. I wanted to play this game that I've seen before or like, I guess like a challenge thing where it is a would you rather. The way that it works is like any normal would you rather game where you basically pick two scenarios that aren't easy to pick from or probably not pleasant and you'll pick one and at the end it'll show you where the majority picked so it'll give you a percentage of other players picked versus what you picked to make this even more interesting i decided why not punish myself for everyone that i don't go with the majority i'm also going to be going through links on the reddit 5050 page and if you don't know what that is um, it's literally death. So it gives you a link of basically things that are very pleasant, like rainbows and sunshine. And then you get links that are literally your worst nightmare. I'm not a big gore person, but I feel like maybe blood and pimple popping will be okay. The only thing that's like a deal breaker for me is if I see someone like eating their own poop. I, I don't think I can handle it. Let's just hop into it, shall we? I also just want to say I'm really scared because I clicked on the um, the 50-50 Reddit whatever thing here, the thread, and even looking at the choices, like, guy stabbed in the eye over parking dispute? Like, what the f Um, Also, real quick, I wanted to note, um, because of YouTube, I'm going to have to be pretty much editing out everything, so just wanted to give you a heads up. From the description, they're probably not something that you want to see anyway. I'm sweating. I got pit sweat. Um, so first question is, eat a worm straight from the ground or snatch a fly out of the air and eat it alive? Ew. I mean, I don't really want to do either, but if I had to make a choice, um, at least with the fly, it's smaller than a worm and it doesn't have dirt on it. So I'm going to say snatch a fly out of the air and eat it alive. Okay, I went with the majority, so that's good. Would you rather cut off each individual toe with a knife or pull out each tooth with pliers? Ooh. I feel like tooth pain is probably the worst pain to have. Um, I just, you know, when you have like a toothache and things like that, um, I feel like it's like in your brain at that point. So I wouldn't want to pull out my teeth. I feel like I would rather cut my toes off because at least then you can hide it with shoes and you don't have to worry about paying to get a pedicure anymore. It's a win-win. Let's do cut off each individual toe with a knife. Okay. Okay. We're, we're doing good so far. We're doing good. All right. Next question. Would you rather be swept up in a hurricane or be lost in a flood? I guess be lost in a flood. Oh, oh, no. You know what? We got to do the one that I looked at. 
originally. So it's either going to be a cute fat cat or a guy stabbed in the eye over a parking lot or a parking dispute. Who stabs people over a parking dispute? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. So they just literally just argued over a parking space. And you stab someone in the eye? Why? Drink, would you rather? Mountain Dew or Dr. Pepper? I don't really drink soda too often anymore. I used to be a big soda drinker, but I stopped. Um, see, it's funny because every time that I would get a soda or like treat myself to one, I would always get a Dr. Pepper. However, every time I go to Taco Bell, you have to get that Baja Blast, you know? So, I feel like Mountain Dew. People agree with me. See? You guys aren't that bad after all. Would you rather have been to Hogwarts or trained under Obi-Wan Kenobi? Um, so I'm going to be super honest here. I am going to get so much hate for this, but I hate, that's a strong, hate's a strong word. I don't like Harry Potter. Um, I never was somebody that was really into Harry Potter. However, I also never watched any of the Star Wars movies, but I know who Obi-Wan Kenobi is. Uh, um, but I would rather be trained under Obi-Wan Kenobi just because I don't really care for Harry Potter. I said it. I'm sorry. 53% agree with me. We're doing good so far. We're doing good. Would you rather have a Pepsi or have a Coke? Um, both are disgusting, honestly, but I would rather Coca-Cola probably. Um, I feel like Pepsi tastes like static to me. And my peeps know it. So, would you rather yell a swear between every word or get punched in the face after every swear? Um, I feel like I already swear every word. I feel like I would just yell a swear between every word. I don't care. Um, other than get punched in the face. So, we're going to go yell a swear between every word. What? People would rather get punched in the face after they swear than to just swear. What? Well, you know what this means. So we're gonna do either a skeleton meat platter or a decaying human body. Oh God, oh goodness. <laughs> I saw, listen, I saw the face at first and I was like, oh no. <laughs> we're blessed. So would you rather be eaten by a lion or be eaten by ants. Um, I feel like a lion would be a quicker death than ants. I feel like the ants would be unpleasant. Yeah, I feel like eaten by a lion is cooler. Just sounds cooler than being eaten by ants. So, I'm glad everyone agrees. All right, let's get it. Next question. Would you rather be barefoot for the rest of your life or wear Crocs for the rest of your life? Um, so I don't really get the hype around Crocs. I get that they're comfortable. Um, a lot of the younger people are like real into them. Like I see a lot of the younger girls and stuff like that wearing them. I guess that's like part of like the visco life. I don't know. I just sound like an old person trying to sound cool. Um, I don't think Crocs are that bad. I mean, I don't really, I'm not part of the, the fad, so, but I hear that they're comfortable, so I'll wear Crocs for the rest of my life. What? <laughs> really? People would rather run around barefoot than wear sh protective shoes. Like, what if there's, like, glass? Or, I don't know, like, hot sand? A nice juicy hamburger. Or a person holding a head. It's a hamburger. Would you rather be hung by a noose or be decapitated by a guillotine? Um, I would rather the guillotine because I feel like there's the possibility of you still being alive when you get hung. The guillotine's a guaranteed death. I know that sounds so morbid, but we're also on Reddit 50-50 today, so I don't really think it matters. That's what's up.
Would you rather never be able to compliment or never be able to complain? Um, I'm a big complainer, like the biggest complainer, but I think I would rather not complain. I try not to, but I do all the time. I got that like, everything's the worst mentality. So um, I would rather never be able to complain. People agree with me, as they should. It's easier to, you know, it's better to be able to give compliments, you know? Complaining just doesn't get you anywhere, and it's it's negative. You don't want to live a negative life, you know? Words of wisdom from your girl. Would you rather be a dinosaur or be a narwhal? I'd rather be a dinosaur. That'd be dope. Like a pterodactyl? That'd be cool. But I wouldn't want to be a T-Rex because they're little arms. You wouldn't be able to do anything. What's going on? Why aren't you seizing the boy? <laughs> If you, oh, this one is very controversial. Um, if you could only eat one and never eat the other, would you rather eat waffles or eat pancakes? Um, I am a waffle person. I love waffles. I like the texture of waffles. I like a little bit of the crispiness. Um, I like that you can get the butter in the little crevices. Um, I do like pancakes, although I don't go for pancakes as much as I do waffles. I love waffles. I think they're great. Um, pancakes can get really soggy after sitting in the syrup for too long, you know? And sometimes people don't make them right. I, I'd say I eat waffles rude so a beautiful artistic rendition of mars i hope i get that one because i really want to see that or a horrifying decapitated head that's been skinned but the facial features are still intact uh... <laughs> oh god oh it's it gets worse the longer you look at it oh oh that is so gross and the tongue's still intact too. Oh, I got chills. I got chills. Would you rather be unable to survive without eating something every hour? Me. Or be unable to taste anything for the rest of your life? I feel like if you couldn't taste food, that would be the most depressing life ever. Like, I am a big foodie. I like food. I like sweets. I got a big sweet tooth. Um, if I could never taste anything, I feel like that is, there's no point. There's no point of life. And you know what I'm talking about. Would you rather lick a public bathroom floor or lick a public bathroom stall handle? Um, the CDC told me that we're not allowed to be licking anything. So next question. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I have like a big thing about public bathrooms. I think they're the most disgusting thing ever. So this is actually very traumatizing for me. Um, I feel feel like I would rather lick the bathroom floor because I don't really know a reason. I just think that the bathroom stall handle, everybody touches it. Like there's no doubt that there hasn't been someone touching it where the floor, it's like, yeah, the shoes. Oh no, but your feet are the most disgusting. Like your shoes, there's a reason why there's people who don't want you to um, wear your shoes inside the house. It's because you're tracking in, you track in so much stuff from the bottom of your shoes. That's why it drives me nuts when I see people put their feet up on tables and stuff. It, I'm sorry, I'm going on a tangent here. This is actually very hard. This is so traumatizing for me. Public bathroom floor. What? <laughs> so a black kitten or a hand destroyed by fireworks. Oh, oh boy. Um, I'm done looking at this. Please get me out of here. Um, don't play with fireworks, kids. The best way I can describe it is, I can't even talk, I'm so like distraught. The best way I can describe it is when you put a hot dog in the microwave for too long, that's what that man's fingers look like. 
So here's a little test of love. Um, would you rather have a beautiful lover that you are incompatible with or have an ugly lover that you get along great with? I feel like personality is super important. It doesn't matter what you look like. As long as you got that good chemistry, that's really what matters. I don't ever think that I've ever chosen boyfriends or whoever in my life through looks. Not saying that they're ugly. I'm just saying that most of the time my attraction always starts with the personality. Like I need to be able to click with you. I need to be able to joke with you. And if it's like boring or your conversations are boring or when I text you, it's just like meh. I will, there's never going to be a connection so I feel like it's very important to have a great connection so I'd rather you be ugly and have a wonderful personality and we mesh so well together than you just being drop dead gorgeous but being like talking to stale bread and people will agree although that's very like very close so there's some very vain people out there and I want you to know that's not alright this is how divorces happen would you rather be a contestant on Wheel of Fortune or be a contestant on Jeopardy? Um, I'm literally dumb as a rock, so I feel like I would not do well on Jeopardy. I'm just going to put it out there. Um, Wheel of Fortune, 100%. I feel like people would also agree. We're all dumb as rocks. It's okay. Would you rather be attractive and poor or be ugly and rich? 100%. I'd rather be balling out in my Tesla freaking living in my six houses beach house and ever but be ugly as sin and i don't care because you want to know why i'm rich what what people would rather be ugly and have no money i listen that ain't right <laughs> all right um this is probably gonna be the last one for today because i can't deal with this and my dog's barking in the background and it's driving me insane. So let's get a good one. A man shitting in his hand and eating it. A newborn baby learning how to walk and falling. No, no, N no. N What is this website? Why is this here? All right, guys, <laughs> that was Would You Rather. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna end this video here. Uh, I've seen enough. Um, so uh, yeah, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, I, I got nothing else to say. I'll see you guys on the next one. Later. <laughs>